Hey, Spuddies! Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome to Will I Get Sniped by the Cree Settler. So, I ran a vote. I'm kind of streaming this live while I'm recording it, and I ran a vote to see how people thought, and it looks like uh, most people think I'm going to get sniped here. <laughs> uh, well, let's see if this works out for me. Let's get to work on feudalism, because we're working on those farms. I have most of them online. I just need one more over here. Hansa is completed in Berlin. Let's go ahead and pick up the market first for the trade route. I'd like to buy this tile over here to put a campus down, but I'm not going to be able to do that for a few minutes. All right, uh, another governor title. I'm going to go ahead and plug in connoisseur because my culture is weaker than my science right now. Oh my, what is this Petra? It's a single tile Petra. What is wrong with you, the Cree? Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mine eyes. <laughs> Wait, what's the German word for eyes? Yeah, Aufren? Mein Aufren. <laughs> Augsen? I can't remember the name for eyes. All right, let's go ahead and pick up construction. We are going to want a lot of lumber mills if we can get them. <gasps> they they didn't take it. Oh, I might be able to get it. Oh my god, it might actually happen. We might actually get the, the dream city. Right, so we will buy this tile right here. And because we've been saving production, we'll be able to get the Hansa in a single turn. We will chop. And right there, a one-turn Hansa with plus two adjacency bonuses. I'm also going to start placing my aqueducts, like so. But I won't be completing them just yet. Um, I, I, of course, will be placing them just to lock in their price. Because the longer you wait on building your aqueducts, the more expensive they get over time. Like so. Excellent. And we'll cancel that right there. Another aqueduct down here in Berlin. That's a plus seven aqueduct, which is not accurate. It should not be a plus seven. That was the leftover from when I was talking about it being an industrial zone. Place down the next farm. And there we go. We have feudalism on the way and we're going to be able to pick up wonderful extra build charges. God, okay. It's technically a two tile Petra. Well, a one tile Petra, to be fair. And it's a flatland Petra tile too. This just hurts. It's just, this just hurts. Right. I'm trying to think about what I want to do over here. You know what? If I were to settle on this stone, I could do something like this, right? I could put the city center here. I could put an aqueduct here. I could put an industrial zone here. And then I could also put a commercial hub right here. And now I'm getting like crazy extra adjacency over here. So let's go ahead and get that city started. Okay, capital. We have another settler out. Let's keep settling. We want as many settlers as we can get. We completed the Hansa over here in Hamburg. We can finally delete this tile. I'm going to work on the aqueduct next and uh, save up gold to be able to place the commercial hub. Let's improve this stone too. It'll give it a workable tile, which is nice. Another little bit of production. And it looks like he redirected, but I'm going to go ahead and settle right here. And now the city is losing loyalty, but what I'll do is I'll delete that pin and I'll go ahead and grab a Victor, plug him into Frankfurt like so. Then we'll get this furs online and we'll be able to sell that second copy of furs. I'd like to start investing gold in here. I'm going to place the Hansa and start building it immediately. No, I really should. I should should build these things, for example. Um, I should build like the granary, the monument and the watermill in that order, in my opinion. That is the order that I think is optimal. Apologies, I will look elsewhere in future. That's 30 diplomatic favor that I can sell to the AI. A lot of people will say that selling diplomatic favor to the AI feels like an exploit. And I can see where you're coming from. But the way I see it is it's just another strategic resource that you can sell to the AI. You'll pay me six gold per turn for that and you will pay me how much? He'll pay me five gold. So it looks like Sumeria gives the better deal. Let's go ahead and sell him all 70 of my diplomatic favor and grab my cash prize. So with 38 gold per turn plus 75 gold or 76 gold up front, a nice amount of gold. So we should be able to start doing a lot more purchasing. Hey, we ran into Teddy. How's it going, Teddy? First thing we want to do when you meet a new player is always go ahead and send them a delegation. Try to declare the friendship. Just give it a go. Uh, almost never will work, but we will go ahead and trade him open borders. He will make me pay for it, which is fine because he doesn't feel so good about me. We're also going to look for an opportunity to sell him some luxuries. He already has foxes, but I will sell him these horses. He will give me two gold per turn for the horses. Let's see if he'll do that again. Apparently, he doesn't want horses anymore. What about iron? Maybe you would like some iron. No, it looks like he's just not looking for strategics. I think he doesn't have enough gold is the problem. All right, let's get the second camp online and see if we can maybe sell off those furs. Uh, you already have furs. Does the Cree have furs? Everyone has furs, so I guess furs are just in abundance this game. Now we have enough money to purchase this tile to get this online. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this forest again. That'll finish the aqueduct a couple turns sooner. I will be placing the commercial hub to lock in its production price, but we won't be building it just yet. Hansa completed in Ulm. I'd like to get to work on the aqueduct now. I want to be able to grow my cities to be really, really big. I'd like to have enough money to place this commercial hub. And in fact, I actually do have enough money to place that commercial hub. So I will, in fact, place it. 
and lock that price in. You know what I should do in my capital? I should really place the Hansa district down, even if I'm not building it yet, just to lock in its price at a really low value. You know what? I should also place the commercial hub as well in here. And now we have basically all the districts that we care about locked in and loaded in Aachen. Okay, I'm tired of micromanaging my scouts. I'm just gonna put them on auto explore. If they get killed, it's their fault, not mine. Let's go ahead and settle right here on this quarry tile. That's gonna get me plus three error score for settling near this thing too. And what we need in here is exactly what we have, which is a builder. I think the very first thing we're gonna do is chop out for the um, Hansa. So we'll just do a production saving trick for one turn in here. Hey, we ran into Robert the Bruce as well. Let's exchange information on his capital. He's really far away. I think what we're gonna do is, oh, we ran into China too. That's a bit odd, but okay. And up, oh, yep, there goes my scout. Got himself killed, awesome. Looks like he wants a friendship. I think Gilgamesh no longer likes me. No, he does like me. Let's talk to Robert the Bruce. Let's send him a delegation, see if he'll declare a friendship. Nope, he will not declare a friendship. Open borders, give me a bit of gold. He'll make me give him a bit of gold, that's fine. We have the open borders. Let's talk to China too, same thing. Send a delegation, attempt to declare a friendship, make a deal, open borders, trade gold, ba bum. Try again, no deal, but we did get open borders with everyone and we're improving relations with everyone. Right, aqueduct finished in Hamburg. I could get to work on the workshop, but I think the trade routes are far more important. So I'm gonna get to work on those. Let's go ahead and chop in Trier. That's gonna open up room for me to place the Hansa like so, excellent. And we'll delete that pin now. We'll get to work on that Hansa and we'll also do a little bit more chopping with this builder. We can finally settle this city of Magdeburg. Oh, and you know what? This is a little bit awkward. I was not expecting that iron to be here. If I had seen that, um, that's going to kind of ruin the plans that I had for this city. Yeah, that, that complete because I had planned to put an aqueduct on that tile, but I guess that is just not happening now. Well, go for Monument Granary and uh, slowly build yourself up. Try to ally the Cree. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to get allied with Cree, but Cree kind of hates me at the moment. I'll plug one envoy into Hattusa for the plus two science per turn. Get this iron mine online, give this city an actual tile worth working. Significant blizzard over here. I wonder if it's going to drop off any more resources. I mean, this area up here. What are you doing, you maniac? Oh my god, what is this city? This is not okay, even slightly. I need to get more settlers over here to put pressure on that city. Jesus, that's super not okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to make some adjustments here. Um, Samaria, this isn't cool. Are they in a golden age? I think they felt confident to do that because they are in a dark age. What? How are you not taking loyalty problems? Because you have happiness level and you have other effects. Right. Military engineering, let's pick up Niter, choose civics in here. We're going to go ahead and swap up to mercenaries. Yes, mercenaries, because that's on the way to exploration. Market is completed in Berlin. I would like to get to work on a trader next, of course. Always want to get your traders up. Let's go ahead and plug in serfdom, and we will also go ahead and plug in conscription to save a little bit of cash. Although I don't really have units that take money, do I? No, not really. It might be better to just plug in... Yeah, whatever, I'll plug in conscription, that's fine. Lumber mill down here in Hamburg, give me another productive tile. I would like to maybe chop this hill and then replace it with a mine. Now, this is unfortunate. I would love this to be a lumber mill as well, but it's kind of just in the way. So I'm going to chop to finish that. Then I'm going to get to work on the aqueduct. I'm going to chop that and get rid of that too. And that'll be all good. You can see my districts are starting to really come together. It's starting to look like a proper empire. Let's have a look at the empire map mode. I want to see, look, already a plus three, plus five, plus two. A lot of these industrial zones are starting to come online in terms of their adjacency. It'll take a little bit of time before they're truly online, but once they're there, it's going to be monstrous. Right, let's harvest this tile to finish that a little bit quicker, and then we can place our aqueduct right there, and then we will make sure that's locked in, and then replace it and delete it. Of course, we want to delete the pin as well. We just finished another settler up here. I think I'm going to settle on the Jade here and yet more settlers out of Aachen. I'm going to keep settling, even though this even though this terrain is kind of garbage, to be totally honest, um, it's probably better to settle it than not. I thought I would have a lot more room, but just because of the, the way I placed my cities, it didn't really work out that way, but it'll be fine in the long run. Right, we'll harvest here. That'll finish the commercial hub, and I think we'll get to work on the market. Again, we want to keep skyrocketing our gold. We want to make as much gold as popper as possible. I mean, if I wanted to have a proper empire, maybe I should have a one-tile Petra. <laughs> Let's harvest over here to finish the aqueduct, and then plug in the commercial hub as well. We'll lock in that price, and we'll get to work on it. We never built the granary or the monument in here. Let's get those underway, and then we'll go for the commercial hub. 
Right, let's plug a mine down here in Hamburg. Things are starting to look very, very robust in terms of production. Up to 26 production per turn. We're getting plus seven from that Hansa. Jesus. Military training is finished. That's a civic that we don't particularly care about. We did get a trader in here. Let's have a look and see where we could get the most gold. Let's organize this by gold, of course. And just look, there's Ak... Aktakakup. All right, let's trade with that and we'll gain a little bit of gold per turn. Over time, that'll increase. Let's go ahead and place the campus now in the city right there. We, of course, plugged an aqueduct down in Ulm. I would like to go ahead and pick up buttresses soon, but I'm going to pick up military engineering first, just so I have access to Niter. And I think in Ulm, I would like to maybe place a campus on this tile because it's a plus two campus, which isn't so bad. And it'll also complete the adjacency of this district a little bit sooner. I could get the workshop, though. I think I'm going to prioritize the campus because I'm a little bit behind in terms of science gain. Uh, you can see... Scotland, China, and Sumeria are all near the 100, so I am going to have to start focusing pretty hard on science soon. I'm going to put one envoy into Kumasi. Now, you know what I should do? I should really swap this card out. This is something I'm really bad about, and I don't do it very often. I don't swap my Diplomatic League card in and then, like, get envoys with people. So that's like a, a, an extra envoy that I wouldn't have had otherwise, right? Right, let's settle this city, put a little bit more pressure on Eridu. And what we're also going to do in here is we're going to plug down the Hansa right here. We're going to plug an aqueduct right here. And we're going to plug a commercial hub right there. And that way this city is now ready to kind of complete itself. I think the very first thing we'll work on in here, though, is maybe do a little bit of purchasing. Because I need this city to grow in population as fast as possible. So I'm going to be working on getting as much population in here as I can. We'll also be putting a lumber mill on this tile. My poor little scout got hit by a tornado. Hopefully the tornado doesn't hit him again. That would be very unfortunate and it would actually kill him. I will look elsewhere in the future for settling near you. I apologize. I'm going to completely ignore that and keep settling near him. There's nothing he can do about it. I keep running along here, little scout. Pop this lumber mill down here. That's a 1-3 tile that gives the city quite a bit of production for a one population city. You know, just because I'm right near Sumeria, I'm going to go ahead and buy these two tiles because I want to make sure that I have these and I don't want to lose them to him. The deer tile also will act as a nice population source. Eventually, if I can get camps, I can't remember exactly when camps are upgraded. It is, it gets plus one food at mercantilism, that's it. So if I get up to mercantilism, I believe is this tech right here. It'll be a bit of a, bit of a while before we get that, but not in a rush. Let's go ahead and grab a builder in Hamburg. Look at the cities, 26 production per turn on turn 100. That's insanity. No, stop settling cities here, damn it. I'm never going to like get Iridu to flip now. Damn it. He's encroaching on my land. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, we'll pop a camp down there. Settler completed in Aachen. There's a nice lake here. I could settle on this jade as well, although I'm kind of tempted to settle off the jade. No, probably settling on jade is the right move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I settle on the jade, I'll be able to put an industrial zone here, an aqueduct here, and then a commercial hub here, and then that'll sort of form a nice little, uh, little thing. Do I want more settlers? How many more do I want? Probably one or two more. We're very, very close to getting a golden age. We only need another five points, I think. There's military engineering. But we do have access to Niter, it looks like, and it looks like it's right here. Damn it. I'm going to have to rearrange my farms now. Ooh, I want to make sure I get that Niter tile. Although, Akkad isn't going to get it anytime soon, so I'm not under pressure, but I would like to have it, so I'm just going to take it. Because it is a very nice tile, it's a 2 2 tile. All right, let's, I'd like to trade with Lagash, but I also want a trade route down this way to kind of connect up my empire a little bit, so I'm going to trade that direction. Now that we have a trader in Hamburg, I think it would be a good idea to work on maybe a campus. There's a plus two campus right here. Is that what I want to do there? I could use this for a farm triangle, although I could still use most of this for a farm triangle, whereas this tile over here, for example, is kind of just a dead tile. So if I just production save for a couple of turns, I could very easily plug a campus in there. Actually, a very nice farm triangle here, so we're going to get to work on that. Do I want the lumber mill or do I want the chop? If I chop, I could finish this much, 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 much faster. So I think I'll take the chop and then put a mine down here. It ends up being slightly less production, but I think it's more efficient because I get the production up front, which allows me to benefit from that production sooner. There's mercenaries, which I don't think we're plugging in anything into that government. I think we're just going to go straight for Merchant Republic. Nice, we completed the Hansa. Let's go ahead and improve that tile. Let's make sure... I should have been working this tile actually in the beginning because it's actually technically better. But let's make sure we're focusing on food in here so that we work these tiles. I have one more Envoy. I may as well take the Suzerainty of Kumasi because that will get me extra Diplo favor that I can sell to players. Speaking of players, let's go ahead and declare friendships with everyone that I can because this will give me more favorable deals. Let's do a little quick map scouting to see who I have open borders with. It looks like I have open borders with basically everyone except for... Uh, 
the Lord of Inkadu here. Open borders with you. Thank you very much. A couple of gold. Now, who will pay the most for my Diplo favor? Maybe China will. China will pay 11 gold for Diplo favor, so that's an incredible deal for me. I'm going to be getting 64 gold per turn for my Diplo favor for only 50-ish. All right, we'll pop a farm right there. Excellent. Frankfurt now has a nice growth tile, and we'll also pop a settler right down on this tile. I'm going to harvest this forest. Let's place the Hansa. This is a plus three Hansa already. It's getting adjacent resource buffs. Then we will place the commercial hub right here. And we need to get the monument and granary in here, but I might work on the Hansa first just because it gives me production. Sweet. So Hamburg is ready now to build this campus. Let's buy that tile, plug the campus down here. We've got one more build charge in here, and I may as well get this Jade online. I'm wondering, uh, I have two copies of Jade. Is anyone willing to buy them? You have both of these luxuries already. Do is there anyone who doesn't have these luxuries? Jesus Christ! I guess they're just that common that they're not really worth much. Here you go, China. Can I have Amber and Pigs? Are you, like, what is wrong with you? Stop. All right, I'll, I'll do this mutual trade. It works out just fine. Yeah, it looks like from the global resource report, Jade and Furs are like the most common things, aside from Tea. We've got quite a few rarer ones up here. But it looks like horses are abundant. Now, I'm China is the only other person with Niter, so I think Niter might be a good thing to get into trading to other players. Hey, we found another city-state. Preslav, I think it was. Yes. Excellent. They want me to send them a trade route. They are pretty far away. That's going to be a hard-ass trade route to fulfill. China wants to give me pigs for iron. I will give you pig iron. Thank you very much. Welcome to the World Congress. Okay, so we... Usually you can get away with just voting for yourself twice. Uh, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize myself for this one. Unfortunately, I sold all my diplomatic favor just a couple turns ago, so that kind of sucks. Ah, I actually won both. Nice. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. We got the monument in Trier. I think it would be good to work on the commercial hub because this commercial hub will provide not only adjacency to two Hansas, but it will also give me the ability to get another uh, trader to get even more gold. Okay, Ohm, I think it would be good to get this commercial hub online. I'm kind of delaying science right now, and it's probably a mistake, actually. So let's make sure we get libraries online. There are only five turns of production. So I should really start prioritizing science at this point. On turn 100, I think that's long enough to delay. Let's go ahead and trade with a card for the extra envoy. Right, we've got another settler in Aachen. How many more cities are we settling? That is the difficult question that we have to answer. I mean, I could, in theory, settle a city here and just kind of do some weirdness, but it would take so long for it to be useful. I mean, I could... I mean, it's not a terrible city in the long run. It has workable tiles. It has stuff it can do. Yeah, fine. We'll settle a weird city. Sure. Let's get that library first, though, before we go for the very last settler that we're going to be building. All right, the granary is completed in here. So this city really can't do much, can it? No, not at all. I guess it'll just build a trader for me. I mean, I guess if I built... If I bought some tiles, it could do something. Like, for example, if I bought... This tile, I guess a Hansa could go there because it would get plus two adjacency from things. So sure. On the other hand, I could put a commercial hub here, a harbor here, and a Hansa there, and that would be a little bit better. It would kill two workable tiles, but I think that is the right move. That means the Hansa actually wants to go there, and the commercial hub actually wants to go there. But we'll finish the trader first. Might do an internal trade route to help that city out. Okay, Berlin has built up a cap as a commercial hub and a hand size. The only thing I'm missing is like a water mill and a workshop in here. So we'll get to work on both of those things and we will keep exploring. We're finding lots of really interesting stuff. I hovered over something there. Ah, the religion tab. Nice. Ship building is finished. All land units can embark now. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a workshop in Hamburg. We'll plug in a plantation right there. Nice one. Excellent. Hey, Ulm reached 10 population, so I got plus one error score, and I finished civil service, getting the boost for that. That's always handy. But the question is, do I want to stop off for civil service first to get alliances? And I think I really should have done that, so I'm going to go swing back for that. Right, I think I want to place the aqueduct now, because if I build the aqueduct, I'll get more benefit. Let's purchase the... Ooh, I could purchase the workshop in here to help this city produce things. Yeah, I'm going to purchase the workshop, because that'll take so many turns off this city's produ production uh, queue. I have filled the water back There's the Sahara El Beta. Cool. Beta. Crippling Blizzard. Uh, it destroyed three tiles and improved three tiles. I only had three tiles in here. <laughs> so uh, you may as well just said you killed everything. Well, I guess I need another builder now. That's going to take 10 turns. I really don't want to work 10 turns on a builder. Right. I think it's time to get the commercial hub in here. It'll take about eight turns and it'll boost a Hansa quite nicely. And then we'll get to work on the dam afterwards. That is a very tasty deer tile though. It's three, one production or, or three food, one production. So that'll be helpful. 
Over here in Mainz, let's get to work on the aqueduct or the commercial hub. I can't tell which I should work on. The aqueduct is finished faster and is worth uh, more production. So we'll get to work on that first. Let's go here. Right, let's go ahead and settle Nuremberg. And the current plan that I had was to put a Hansa right there. Put the aqueduct right here, like so. And then place the commercial hub up over here to provide extra adjacency. I'm just going to go straight working on the Hansa because this city is going to need help. And I think I will just buy this Niter tile just so it has a tile that is workable. Looks like basically everyone has every strategic. Oh, the Kree actually don't have iron, so I could give that to them. That would give me four gold per turn. That's a worthwhile trade right there. I mean, it's just sitting in my you know strategic inventory, not doing anything. So I may as well get some value out of it. You know what I mean? Dedication, right. I would like monumentality. I think all the religions are gone. So Exodus the Evangelist doesn't make any sense at all. I'm basically done settling, so Hicks on Draconis doesn't make sense. And I think at this point, like, monumentality doesn't do much for me because I don't have a faith income. So I'm going to take Reform the Coinage for all the extra gold that I'll get from my international trade routes. So I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Oh, I didn't see that barb camp up north. That is painful. Now that we have the natural philosophy card, we're going to want to plug it in instead of the settler card because we're done building settlers once this final one pops out. I'm going to have to deal with this, and I don't really have the units to deal with it in any capacity. I don't even have iron working, so I can't really get even a swordsman to help out here. Might be a good idea to stop off for iron working for a single turn to get some swordsmen. Okay, Hamburg is actually really heavily built up. I think the only thing it's missing is maybe some farm triangles to keep it growing. It's lacking a little bit of food, so let's go ahead and build a builder in here, and then start slapping down some farms. Trader completed in Magdeburg, and this is going to be the only city that I search for food and production. I'll be trading with Aachen, I guess, because that's oh, worthwhile, and it just gives me a good, like, road. But in the meantime, let's get to work on the Hansa. Oh, at long last, Pingala can be upgraded. I've been kind of, like, uh, neglecting that. But we're going to go for Connoisseur and Researcher and Grants. Berlin is a nice, healthy nine population, which means we're getting plenty of extra science and culture out of it. Everything has its limit, chat. Everything has its limit. All right, let's get some of these warriors upgraded into swordsmen so that I actually fight this off. It'll take a little bit of time before I have enough iron to get them all upgraded. I kind of do want to get a city here, but I don't know if it's even really worth my time. Commercial hub finished in Trier, so I have all of the basic infrastructure in here. So now it's time to just build up the market to get the extra gold income that I need. I have all of my trade routes. There's nothing else that I need to upgrade. I have a builder here. I'm not really sure what to do with this builder. I'm kind of out of ideas. Well, I may as well send it down to Hamburg. Okay, so this skirmisher needs to be dealt with. So if I pop in here, I think I can get the kill. Excellent. And then we'll start moving up to clear out this barb camp too. Right, we got the water mill in Frankfurt. So this city took a long time to build itself up, but we can start getting the Hansa now. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and place the dam. Now, the thing to remember about the dam is it actually gives you housing and amenities. So it's sometimes worth, uh, it's sometimes worth placing, even if you're not really worried about floods, because the housing and amenities are really nice. Same thing over in Berlin. Although, do I want it in Berlin or do I want it in Frankfurt? You know what? I'm going to go to have Berlin be my huge city over here. So I'll plug in the dam. We won't quite build it just yet. All right, there is civil service so we can start getting alliances. I'm going to go ahead and get a military alliance with Gilgamesh because I think that's the one. Although, it would be maybe good to get a scientific alliance with him because I already am kind of trading with him quite a bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and at least send a delegation and get an alliance. I think... In this particular instance, I'm going to go for a scientific alliance so that I get more science from trading with him. Ideally, if I could get the Kree to like me, it would be a very nice thing. They're pretty upset that I broke a deal with them. Let's get open borders mutually, and maybe I could send them a gift of like 14 diplomatic favor. And next turn, their uh, relationship with me will flip. On the other hand, I'm just going to go ahead and take a military alliance with Teddy, like so. And then with China, I will take a cultural alliance. And with Scotland, I will grab myself a religious alliance. That's going to net me plus four diplomatic favor per turn. And now it's time to pick up exploration, which will unlock the Merchant Republic government type for me. Right, workshop completed in Berlin. Let's get to work on the dam. There's other things I'd like to get online as well, like maybe, uh, you know, a theater square would be pretty cool in here. Also, there's a lot of tiles that need to be improved in here. I'm really lacking on builders. Kind of tempted to purchase builders at this point, but I'm going to refrain. I could get the anchor what, actually. And you know what? The Anchor Watt isn't bad because it gives me a little bit of faith, but more importantly, it also gives me plus one population and housing across my entire empire, which is a pretty big deal. Yes, China, you may have an embassy with me. What I really... Okay, Poundmaker has gone neutral because I gave him a gift, which means I should be able to plug in here, send a delegation, and he might even be willing to go for a friendship. No, it'll probably be next turn he'll flip to friendship. I'm probably just going to settle like right there to capture as much of the tundra as I can. 
Now my capital is ready to actually start looking after itself. Let's go ahead and purchase the granary in here so it doesn't have to build it. I probably could have purchased that granary a while ago. The city doesn't need housing right now, so we're going to work on the Hansa to get production increased in here because this is a really powerful Hansa. Like, it's a, uh, it's a plus two. It should be higher than that. Uh, I guess I need to build a commercial hub too. And we'll get this knighter. Oh, oh this is an archer, not a builder. Whoops. <laughs> Sweet. So now that we have another envoy, we're going to plug that into Hattusa. It won't give us suzerainty, but it will give us plus two science from all of our libraries, which is going to bring us up to 90 science per turn. And so now at this point, like, I could probably confidently predict right now that I'm going to beat every AI but um, Scotland right now. Scotland is kind of up in the air whether or not I'm going to beat them, but we'll be able to predict that later. But I would say right now I'm fairly confident that we can win a science victory. Sweet. So the Cree have become friendly. Let's go ahead and declare a friendship with them and then see if they will do an economic alliance. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Brilliant. Awesome. Now we have allies all across the world. Although, you know, kind of seeing the Crees like land is a bit of a double-edged sword because my frame rate has plummeted to 30. <laughs> Education is finished. So what I would like to do is start getting universities around the place. I'm going to let people finish what they're working on right now, but universities are the next big thing for me. I think cartography would be an okay thing to pick up at this point. Although the other edge of the sword is to rush for industrialization, which does involve going through cartography. So I think that's what we're going to do. I really should have picked up celestial navigation already. It's kind of a mistake that I didn't because I do want a couple of harbors throughout my empire. I'm kind of torn between turning this into a farm or a woods, but I think I have plenty of production in my city. So I think extra growth is always worthwhile. Right, so uh, the question is, do I want to keep saving up gold or do I want to start using it? For example, I could purchase my workshop in here, which would save me eight turns of production and also make the rest of my production go faster. I think I'm going to purchase the workshop, which is going to give me plus three production. I'm then going to get to work on the commercial hub. Well, which is faster, the commercial hub or the aqueduct? I'm going to get the aqueduct into the commercial hub and then I'll go market trader university. I think that's the kind of route I want to go. Aqueduct completed in Heidelberg. This is already getting six production from this hand, so let's get to work on this. I'd love to place a capus here, but I don't see a reason to kill this perfectly good deer tile just for a fairly bad campus. It might just be better to do something else with it. Another farm in here, completing the Hamburgian farm triangle, which gives this city a bunch of food to keep growing to fill out its housing slots. Right, Hansa completed over here. I had hoped to put an aqueduct there, but that kind of just, that just kind of went off the wayside there. I could get the harbor as well, but I think I'm going to work on the commercial hub first because that'll actually boost the Hansa to provide more production. We've got the aqueduct in Mainz, so the only thing left now is to get the commercial hub. I think I will also purchase the workshop in here because that's going to speed up the commercial hub fairly significantly by one turn what okay <laughs> all right that's going to speed it up fairly good you know a lot one turn got it the only thing i'm considering is a harbor in here as well to get make use of all this water hey we got exploration let's go ahead and switch our government over to merchant republic this is going to let me build my tier two government building right i really should have picked up guilds earlier than this but now we can pick up guilds and get 100 percent industrial zone adjacency bonus and commercial hub adjacency bonuses which are basically the two cards that we want to have plugged in here at the moment these other cards aren't super amazing i will plug in caravanseries just for that little bit of extra gold and i'll actually plug in trade confederations as well for that little bit of extra gold i could plug in republican legacy just for the level of extra housing and amenities i don't think that's particularly important merchant confederation would be pretty good here too I'm going to plug in Merchant Confederation and Republican Legacy over Caravanseries. I think the extra housing and amenities is actually worth more. And I'll probably just take retainers just for a filler policy. Market completed in Ohm. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some traders. I can build them pretty, pretty quick. Right, let's go ahead and settle this guy down in here. I'm going to be plugging in this sheep tile. I'm also going to go ahead and swing up and place the Hansa right here for the plus two from the adjacencies here. And if I put two mines here, it'll get another plus three. And if I put the commercial hub here, it'll get even more. It'll be up to like plus five, which is a pretty respectable Hansa. Pasture over here, giving this city a great tile to start off working. Right, let's go ahead and get Mimmar Sinan. Uh, not really a great engineer that I care too much about. I might've been happier getting Leonardo da, 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 da Vinci, but I have so many great engineer points that I can basically take them all. I'm gonna plug this in. I've built basically all of my industrial zones already. So I'm probably only going to get border pops from like two. Yeah, it's only two that are going to give me border pops, which, you know, is not much, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Right, let's plug in the university. Now, now that we're starting to get some universities, we might want to start working on getting up to level six with Hattusa. So that we can get the plus two extra science per university. Hansa completed in Nuremberg. Let's get to work on the aqueduct to give this place a little bit of extra housing. I wanted to purchase a workshop in Ulm to get this city boosted up. I also need to get a builder in over here. But we'll purchase the workshop to speed up the city's productivity. 
And with a little bit of cash left over, we'll purchase a granary over here in Nuremberg. And then I'll also get to work on the workshop and stuff in here too. All right, I'm going to pop down a lumber mill on this tile, giving it two food, three production. Very nice for Trier. All right, sweet. Our very first commercial hub with an adjacency of plus four or higher. I think that was the one I built in my capital. I also have cartography now, as well as guilds. And the important thing with guilds is I can take out Trade Confederation and Republican Legacy. And we'll go ahead and plug in Craftsman for Industrial Zone bonuses and Town Charters for Commercial Hub adjacency bonuses. So these are all the things that we built. The Campus, the Commercial Hub and the Industrial Zone. And now they're all going to give us double. Watch this science and the gold number. It went down. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, I guess I was getting a lot of signs from the international trade routes. The most important thing though, if I go into my empire map mode now, and I look at some of these guys, if if you click on Ohm, right, this is a plus nine Hansa. I'm getting 18 production from it, okay? Think about that. 18 production is an insane amount of production. And here's the really, really important thing. If I can get coal and start placing coal power plants, they give bonus production equal to the adjacency of the production of the district. So this is going to be a plus... 36 production industrial zone just like just really take a moment to think about that and that's not including the workshop or the factory or anything like that that is just what this city does i'd love to get a builder in this city but i really need to get this dam online because the city has run out of housing i'm kind of tempted to purchase a trader in here i'd like to get a builder i'm trying to figure out how to find time to build these things i need to build so much stuff Let's get the market in here. We want more trade routes. I'm going to purchase a trader in the capital. That'll be a good use of my gold. We're also going to get to work on diplomatic service because I would like to start getting spies. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I started a Patreon where I let people, uh, basically, I name cities after my patrons. So let me go to my Patreon and start naming some of these cities. Aachen shall be named after Penguin March. I shall name Ohm after Harpfire. There you go, Harpfire, you've got a city named after you. And we'll go ahead and swing in over to Trier, and we'll name this one after Foo Bar. And peep the toad, you can be Frankfurt. There you go, buddy. I named everyone who is currently an active uh, ba -ba 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 Patreon member. Peep the toad. I don't know, it's a little bit of a silly thing, but I think, basically, I think how I'm going to do it is, like, you just, if you pay $2 to my Patreon, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you be on the name list. I'm kind of, like, not fully sure how I want to do things on it, but that's kind of where it's going. And the reason I'm starting a Patreon, uh, if you think I'm just like greedy, it's just so I, I have a little bit of independence from the YouTube ad revenue being like my sole major source of income. If I can make a little bit of money on Patreon and then I'm a little bit less dependent on like the ups and downs of YouTube ad revenue. Let's plug in the workshop in Fubar. It'll take eight turns to build, but that'll give the city even more production. This city could really use food somehow. I'm not really sure how I'm going to get that food. I guess I could get the food by getting the lighthouse and capturing some of these uh, water tiles. All right, we'll keep trading with the Cree. 26 gold for a trade route is very, very nice. We're up to 320 gold per turn. And the majority of that is from my cities. 250 gold coming from my cities and about 93, 92 coming from trade deals. Speaking of which, one of my trade deals just ran out. So let's talk to China again. I think China was the one who was buying these at a premium. So let's go ahead and send everything that we've got to China. 148 gold is an amazing amount of gold to get boosted up. Aqueduct finished in Peep the Toad, and I think it would be a good time to get the harbour in here for the trade route. Trying to find time for these builders, although I'm pretty independent of tile improvements because my hances are so good, I really do need to like just grab Liang and plug her into a city like Hamburg and just start spamming out builders. Another market over here in Mainz for yet more trade routes. It'd probably be a good idea to purchase the monument in here. And another market in Heidelberg for yet even more trade routes. Your delegation is most welcome, the Cree. I appreciate your delegation. Not that that really matters. I guess I do technically have a lake that I could build Huey on if it isn't already built. You know what, man? Let's do it. Let's purchase a trader in here to get the extra production. Let's get Huey going in here. It'll take four turns, but this tr market will give me another trader that'll allow me to get more production in Heidelberg. I'll go for Huey because this is a lake and uh, I do have a couple of lake tiles around my empire. Right, I think it's time to get the intelligence agency. Man, I really want that university. Ah, oh, man, like it's, it's hard to choose between all of these things. I think I'm going to get the intelligence agency first, though, because that gives me a governor title. Magdeburg, Magdeburg, Magdeburg. I'm going to go ahead and get the market in Magdeburg because the trade routes are really, really important to me. We've got 400 gold per turn, so I think in Heidelberg... Sorry, was it Heidelberg or Nuremberg? I think it was Nuremberg I was going to buy a workshop in here. But anyway, I think we're well on our way to a science victory here. We are up to 97 science per turn. By no means are we top science. In fact, we are basically bottom science. But 
we're catching up very quickly. We're building a lot of tech. We're building up really, really powerful cities. And we'll be kicking off here very, very soon. Once I get my hands on big enough cities and the rationalism card at, at Enlightenment will be really kicking off because most of my cities are going to be above 10 populations, which is a 50% boost to the science that my cities get. Anyway, I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I love you all very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I love you all. Bye bye.